Options trading, whether buying or selling, involves significant risk and should be approached with extreme caution and due diligence. The content provided here is for informational purposes only and should not be construed as financial advice. Trading options can result in substantial losses or gains, and it is your responsibility to fully understand the risks involved. The host and content creators are not liable for any financial outcomes, including losses or profits, that may arise from your trading activities. Always consult with a qualified financial professional before engaging in options trading. What a day for trading, right? So all indices, whether it is Bankex, Midcap Nifty, Bank Nifty, Nifty Finance, and Fin Nifty, Sensex, everything was down. Look at Bank Nifty, it was down by 896 points, right? 896 points. Sensex was today's expiry. It was down by 1,717 points. Can you believe that? So whoever made 920 straddle today made good money. We didn't do uh, 920 straddle. We are a whole different thing. We made a profit of around 21,034 rupees. Now, uh, if you ask me, uh, like we were, uh, we were in good profit. Actually, this was around 50k, but. Uh, one small uh, reversal uh, changed everything and it wiped out uh, wiped out half the profit so i will tell you what happened today what is the rationale behind today's trade how we made profit everything we will explain in this video before that i will go to our telegram channel and uh, in our telegram channel today morning i shared a chart i posted one thing one chart that, that is sensex chart I don't know if this is doing the justification and I told clearly that 81,850 to 81,700 may act as a good support. It was a good support and once that support was taken, we ended up in 81,300. So this is the morning, uh, morning chart of Sensex. Today morning at around 8.30, we, were, uh, we posted the chart and 82,000. 650 was a resistance today i knew that this is not going to happen market may not go on the higher side it is likely to go on the downside and we already mentioned here uh, overall the chart suggests the sensex is currently in consolidation phase with a potential for a break a breakout to new highs and the support and resistance the chart highlights two key support 81850 81,700 and I never believed that 81,500 will be taken out. 81,500 will be taken out. If Sensex breaks below these levels, it could signal potential downside move. That is what has happened. If you see here, uh, let me zoom out this chart so that you can understand here. Now, around 81,850 or 81,700 levels, Nifty uh, Sensex tried to, uh, there was a doji pattern and Sensex tried to move on the higher side. But bears were very strong. It touched 81,200 and see where it has finished. It has exactly finished at the support which I have drawn today morning. So that is why I'm saying people uh, people don't care about uh, price action, but we give very importance to price action. So if you want, you can join our Telegram channel. I will leave the link in the description below so that you will get lots of insight in the market uh, about the market about expiry day trades. So coming back to our trades, let me uh, let me tell what we did today. So today, uh, yeah, today. Uh, so today was a Sensex expiry, right? So it opened, it came all the way, I, I, I knew that it will break 81,000, right, 81,850. So what we did, we were writing all kinds of call options, CE options, we were writing 81,900, uh, uh, then 82,000, 82,100, all the way we were writing, we were writing here, here. Now, once this reversal happened, now I should have not returned this one, which was around, uh, I think, 81,500. Once uh, this 81,500 was taken out, after seeing this candle, I took around 81,500, 81,500 CE. I have returned huge quantity and the market reversed and that costed us a much, a lot, a lot, right? So 25K is not a small amount, right? So that uh, costed us and eventually again, the market came down, then we stopped the trading around 81,500. I never thought uh, Sensex will touch 81,000. It has touched 81,000. 
so with alignment with the global market if you see the global market us futures as i talk to you uh, us uh, dow jones is down by 126 look at nasdaq around one uh, percent down it is down by one percent so that's a dangerous thing to happen uh, we really don't know what is the what is the scenario what my, what is uh, uh, bringing the markets on the downside we have been rallying for a very long time of course a correction is required and that is what is happening so this might be a healthy correction so don't think that uh, markets will crash or it will uh, uh, let's say nifty nifty will let's go to nifty chart and look at nifty nifty was a disaster it came all the way to 84,000 I, I yesterday 25,000 I thought 25,000 in nifty 25k 25k was a very very uh, good support that support was taken very easily by the beers not a single hesitation look at this area not a single hes hesitation it came and again they tried to bring it above uh, 25,000 but uh, beers were very very strong bulls were not able to take nifty about 25k now closing below 25k is a very very uh, worst thing to happen in terms of nifty i'm talking so we have to be very careful we have to see the next few days what is going to happen what might happen whether nifty is going to close above nifty closing about 25k is very very important so that's why i'm saying 25k is very very important let's uh, zoom out this chart and i will show you one more thing so that you can understand what is happening i'll change this to an hourly chart uh, so that you will get an idea what i'm trying to say right so this is an hourly chart of uh, nifty uh, of uh, uh, nifty right so 25k you can see this gap there is a gap on 25k right this gap is very very important actually if this gap is this gap has been taken out that is the major problem if this gap is sustaining then we can see market moving on the higher side but this gap has not been has has been taken out so uh, we might see some consolidation going forward we might see around 24,600 or even 24,500 levels in nifty is my expectation is my expectation so as i told you 25k should have not been uh, taken out it is very unfortunate uh, beers were very strong and we have taken out 25k so that is very unfortunate so we'll see how uh, things work out and in terms of uh, open interest i don't have to show you the open interest everybody is uh, today everybody if you go and see a twitter uh, everybody is in profit every option seller is in profit and i'll tell you 920 straddle if you had taken 920 straddle today 920 straddle today you would have made good money because the market was traveling in one direction not a it was not making two way three way moves uh, whatsoever right so it was moving in one direction and every 920 uh, straddle or uh, people who ever ha who had taken 920 straddle would have made good money unlike a discretionary trader like me uh, they would have made good money right so we'll see how things pan out it is time to be very cautious because markets are falling don't think i am demotivating you uh, be careful and trade carefully uh, i hope you find this video very helpful i'll see you in another video till then take care bye